Um, I have had some questions about what do I do with the comments? How do I put things together? Sorry, cat's having issues today. Um, the big deal with having comments on your papers is you need to take them into account. Um, the corrections are easy, right? Fix the commas, fix the spelling, um, fix the sentence structure, whatever that is. Um, when I tell you things like I need more details or I need a concrete example, um, those are things that are a bit more up to your interpretation. Um, for details, that means write another sentence, usually. Um, if you've told me that something is true, um, why is it true? How do you know it's true? Where's your evidence? Um, add a sentence. These paragraphs that we're writing here at the beginning especially um, should be pretty substantial paragraphs, um, not your typical, you know, three sentences and I'm done kind of thing. Um, can't really call that a writing assignment. Um, make sure that you're giving me enough to work with. Um, you can always take things out. Um, it's harder, I think, well, it's harder for most people to add to what they've done. Um, it's very much easier to cut things out. Um, so write down lots. Um, maybe you go a little overboard. That's okay. Deleting sentences is easy. Um, coming up with a new sentence that fits in the right spot sometimes is more difficult, but it can be done. Make sure that you are fulfilling the brief. Um, you have directions. Um, you have an introductory sentence. It has certain uh, it has certain definitions in it. You need to have, in this case, the author's name, um, the title of the article, and a little bit about the topic. Um, and that's usually true um, anytime you're responding to some sort of other work. Um, you need to make sure that you've told us what you're responding to. Um, and then a topic sentence, of course, is a it, mini outline of what you're going to say. Um, I believe this is true because, because, because. Okay. Um, or I believe we should do it this way because, because, because. Um, we like threes. In general, humans like things to be done in threes. Um, and so three reasons is a good thing. Two is okay. Um, four is okay. Um, one is probably not enough. Make sure that you do at least make a nod to the other side. Um, some people may say this, but here's why I don't. Um, and then your concluding sentence should be a call to action um, or at least telling us what we should do with the information you've provided. Anytime um, you're not fulfilling the whole brief, I'll tell you, hey, you need to add a sentence here, you need to add this part here, do that. Um, there is nothing quite so frustrating as having made the same corrections on two drafts and then having the third draft look just like the first one. Um, the idea of a writing process is that each one gets better. Each one gets more polished. Um, each one gets at the assignment a little bit better, um, even if it's just a very little bit better. Um, make progress. Um, show me that you care about what we're doing and that you care about your grade and about getting better at this. Um, there is a lot that we can all do to improve our writing. Um, every time I read something I wrote last year or last week, I think, oh, I could do that better. Um, and so it doesn't stop. Um, this is not a punitive assignment um, because you're in transition English. Um, this is something that all writers do, um, especially really good writers. Um, we tend to think that revision is only for those who are not quite up to par, and that's not true at all. Um, even as a graduate student, um, my instructors would probably only see about 80% of what I wrote um, because I did a lot of revision. Um, I tend to research a lot and write a lot and then pull out the stuff I don't need. Um, it's also important to know that anything that you turn in should be your best best stab, best shot at what you've been asked to do. Um, the fact that we go through three drafts altogether um, 
doesn't mean that you can wait to actually do the assignment until the final draft. I want you to make your best attempt at the assignment as a whole in that first draft. Um, the way the NROC stuff sets it up, um, you get to write it in separate sections. So you get to write an introductory sentence. You get to write you know, your topic sentence. Um, they're showing you how to structure and the different parts of a paragraph. Um, when we get to a multi-paragraph essay, um, in essay three, um, unit three, um, it helps to have that structure already embedded in your head, and that way you can just write. Um, most of what I want to see between rough draft two and the final draft is polishing, is editing, um, fixing the grammar, fixing the commas, fixing the sentence structure. Um, but So make sure you get your content down as early in the process as possible so you have more time to work with it. Um, if you have questions about comments that have been put on your paper or um, things that you need to do or why didn't I get 100%, um, that kind of thing, um, shoot me an email and I'd be happy to help. So I hope that helps a little bit, um, clarifies some things about what to do with those comments on your paper, um, and I'll see you later.